Welcome back to Cyber City of Galilee DSMMA on this beautiful Sunday, September 12th. This is the 24th Sunday in Ordinary Time. And I was so struck by the readings this morning that I wanted to really share them with you. The very first reading is so powerful. It is actually from Isaiah. And if you know about Isaiah, he talks about a variety of things because it's a pretty long book in the Bible, Isaiah the prophet. But he also talks certainly about the suffering servant who is Christ. And he says this, this is in chapter 15. 50 verse 9, 5 to 9. The Lord God opens my ear that I may hear, that, and I have not rebelled. I have not turned my face away. Okay, so what else is it saying? I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard, my face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord is my help. I am not disgraced. Does that not sometimes ring in all of our lives? I feel like I give my back to those who beat me, and I. but the Lord God is there, and he will never allow us to be disgraced. And I think this is very important that we have these, sun, these readings on this particular Sunday that leads into the week, which will have two of the most sorrowful and I think we could also kind of say glorious uh, feast days because on the 14th of this week, we have the exaltation of the Holy Cross. And on the 15th, we have the Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows. And so as we are hearing this reading, it he holds me, holds me up. If anyone wishes to oppress me, let us appear together. Say, see, the Lord God is my help. Who's going to prove me wrong? And the readings continue. But if we meditate on the sorrows, let's look at the responsorial psalm that the church gives us for today. It's from Psalm 116. You might already remember this one. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. So no matter what happens and what sufferings and what anxieties and what sometimes bordering on depressions or just sadnesses or lonelinesses and very difficult crosses God might ask us to carry, we will always walk with the Lord in the land of the living. Because if you think, what does the land of the living represent? It represents life to the fullness, life as God meant it to be. If we hadn't had original sin, and if I didn't sin and you didn't sin and nobody else sinned, also, we would have a pretty perfect life because that's what God gave us. We're the ones who messed it up. And so now we bear the weaknesses of that mess up we bear the weaknesses of our sins. And so let's pray today very specially that our trust will be in God. And that's why the church gives us Sundays as a very special day. And the, the Lord even asked for that, certainly in Genesis. That will be the day that you will rest. That will be the day that you will stop a thousand frictionary things all over the place. Just created a new word in case you didn't know that. Kind of works. And think of me, just still your heart, be still and know that I am God. And I think that's such a beautiful thing for us to do, whether it's the beginning of the school year where there's a lot of chaos and um, trying to get things organized. It's, um, it's September. It's a month that leads into the rest of the year relatively quickly. And so there's a coming of fall and there's a coming of cooler weather and the leaves are starting to change, will be soon. And so we begin to think of the end times and what's it going to be like and how am I going to be when God calls me home? I think the seasons very much parallel our own lives. And so on this particular Sunday, when we're going into the week that we will celebrate the exaltation of the Holy Cross and Mary, the Queen of Martyrs, ultimately, let us welcome Christ into those spaces of our hearts where we really do need him to uphold us. We can't do it alone. We weren't supposed to do it alone. Don't ever think you can know that you can do it with him because he will carry about 99.99% and ask you to carry that one little sliver and you'll be able to do it because he is beside you. Signing off from Cyber Sea of Galilee, DSMMA on this beautiful Sunday.